What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering a super simple question that a lot of people have had. So in my previous few videos, I went through saving entire Discord channels, private messages, etc, etc, into offline files, and I went through a plugin that helps you mass delete a ton of messages that you sent, or an entire server sent, assuming that you have administrator privileges on said server. Now with both of those videos being made, a lot of people have been asking me, what happens to the messages that someone sends after they delete their Discord account and whether those tools actually still have an effect. Well, of course, if you save someone's chat messages, screenshot them, etc., etc., you'll have those forever. And if you were to delete your messages, they'll be deleted off of the Discord servers, as far as I know, and they won't be displayed publicly, also as far as I know. But that doesn't mean that people haven't got screenshots of them. Now, of course, another extreme that people may go to is deleting their entire Discord account if something goes wrong. So assuming you delete your Discord account, what exactly happens to all of those chat messages, etc, etc, that you have on that old account? Well, today I'll be answering that exact question by stepping you through deleting your account and showing what effect it has. So I've gone ahead and signed into a new Discord account in my browser over here, and I'll simply make sure to join my own server. So add a server, I'll paste the link in, and as you can see, I'm dropped into my troubleshoot server. Here I am, and here's the account that you're currently looking at. This is me. This is my admin account, and you can see that kiddo MMM joined the channel. This is just the name of my other account. So now that my account's joined the server, let's do a couple of things. First of all, I'll send myself a message. And as you can see, I need to add myself as a friend first. So I'll do exactly that. I'll accept this account on my main, and then I'll open up the direct messages with it. After sending a few messages, I'll go and set myself a profile picture. And after doing all of that, we now have my account in a state that a lot of people will usually have. They'll have a profile picture, they'll have some connections, etc, etc. And without going through too much effort to make this account look legit, at this point, this is a believable account, and I've got a message history with another user. So now with a few messages going back and forth, here's my private chats, and I'll also send a couple of messages to the Discord server. There we go. With messages everywhere and friends added, let's go ahead and delete my Discord account. How exactly do we do that? Well, clicking the user settings button in the bottom left, clicking edit under my account, and then clicking delete account will be asked for our password. Upon entering our password and clicking delete account, we'll be logged out of it. If we try and log in, you'll see that account is scheduled for deletion. Your account is scheduled to self-destruct soon. How long will this take? Upon a quick Google search, you can see it can take anywhere from 14 to 30 days. You should also receive an email saying something like this. Hello, we've received a request to permanently delete your account. Your account has been deactivated and will be permanently deleted after 14 days. If you'd like to get it back, then follow the steps there. So with that in mind, we'll have to wait 14 days for a full deletion of the account. But what exactly has happened to the messages? Well, having a look inside of Discord over here, you can see my chat with this person is still here. They still have a profile picture. If they had connections, those would also be here. Mutual servers, mutual friends, all of their messages and messages over here have remained intact. What exactly will happen in 14 days? Well, their account will be permanently deleted. What does that mean? Well, they can't log in anymore. They'll lose their profile picture and it will be reverted back to the normal Discord Wampus profile picture with a random color attached to it. All of their messages in any server will remain where they are. These ones will stay here and these private messages over here will also remain here. Though their profile picture will be changed and their username will become a random string of text which just helps Discord identify who the account belongs to in some future state if necessary. Will you leave all of the servers that you're in? Well, no, not really. Again, your profile picture and username will be changed. And as far as I know, if you had a nickname, you'll still have that nickname on the server. But your account will permanently remain in the offline section until someone else manually kicks or bans the account. Every message that you've ever sent with that account remains on the servers and of course remains in PMs. So with that in mind, if you're hoping that deleting your Discord account helps you get rid of messages from the past or something like that, note that it actually won't. Scrolling through the people on my Discord server over here, you can see on the right hand side that we reach D and we see deleted account, followed by a bunch of random numbers and letters. This account over here has been deleted off of Discord, and this is what you'll appear as in the future on all of the servers and channels that you were in previously, as well as PMs. 
Discord awards and the rest should stay here, such as the Hype Squad badge, but as far as I know, your user info such as linked accounts, etc., will be removed. If I open up a private message chat with this person, you would be able to see a chat history, but apparently I've never had an interaction with this account. Having a look at this other server over here, that's a private server that I'll have to blur out, you can see that there's an account with the crown next to it, meaning it's the server owner, and they still have their role. Clicking on it, and viewing profile, you can see they still have the Hype Squad badge, but they don't have any connections, don't have a profile picture, and don't have a name. If I were to click the button and open up the private message history, this is exactly what you'd see. They'd appear on your friends list as you might expect, and all of the messages that you've ever sent with them will still be here. Of course, this was a friend's account of mine that he deleted when he made a new Discord account. There's a bunch of messages here that go both ways, his and my messages. Scrolling up, we have a complete message history where absolutely nothing has been touched. Images, videos, links, files, messages, etc, etc are all here as you may expect. So note that deleting your Discord account won't help you get rid of anything if that's what you're hoping to do by doing it. Of course, if you'd like to cancel your account being deleted, let's go through and find out what we have to do. Looking at the email that we got, you can see that we need to simply click the login button to fix it. So clicking that, It'll open up this page over here, and after punching in our account details, you'll see this, account scheduled for deletion. Change your mind, restore account, click that, and we're logged into our account once again. You probably have 14 full days to do this while it's scheduled for deletion. But anyways, that's about it. Hopefully you found some use in this video. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.